Thank you for tuning in to the Pointless Talks podcast. This episode is being brought to you as a part of the many things that Pointless creates. For our returning listeners, thank you so much for coming back. And if this is your first episode, welcome, get comfortable, and please Good. keep an open mind. I mean, we can't cut off the front part. Oh, this is true. Yeah, da, 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 da. I just have to sort my buy something, you know? <laughs> you have a drink? You have a drink, Cancel? Yeah, it's about to be done. I have fresh squeezed orange juice. How are this, yeah? Fresh squeeze. I bought a citrus reamer and it's brought me back to living Girl, in. Where the fuck are we? A third world country? What? No, I'm joking. Let's go. <laughs> How else am I supposed to get my fresh squeeze orange juice? What this wrench? Girl, I come um, I come from a third world country and I'm proud of my third world country. I wanna Thank know you very what much. I know where first of all, where you from ain't no third world country, so I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know about nobody else, but third I know. World cop. <laughs> okay, I don't know about nobody else, but we ain't no damn third world. Just to let you know. I mean, I agree, but so them one call it. I got nothing to do with me. Exactly. All right, well, but um, yes, my my fresh citrus, freshly squeezed immigrant. oxtails. Yeah, it smells like and proud. Me and a Yankee. It smells like immigrant in here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Look at baby face. <laughs> and proud. <laughs> Anyways. I'm jealous. Go ahead. <laughs> we got some topics that we missed last week, actually. That um I okay, realized we after we done recording and I was hold like, on, oh shit, we forgot on, to talk about this. We, you well, said good night. Hello, what's up? Oh, sorry. What's good? Yes. How you doing, people? You know, this hey you all. Cause I be thinking about the intro, that's why. <laughs> but yeah, I, I but do need you, to say hi. Yeah, yeah. You only people that know. Not, I'm not looking nothing about I, me. Yeah, like my not. Definitely did not. What's going on, folks? Mm-hmm. Thanks for coming back and all that or whatever. Welcome if it's your first episode. Start from the beginning. Yeah. But um, yeah, we missed a couple topics last week. Um, <laughs> we, we didn't talk about Jack Yor. Oh, I'm gonna. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> all right. Prison walls. Yeah. I mean, we really don't need to. Um, Unless all I'm you want say to. Is you, you know, Jamaican people say they're gonna be like, "Yo, he going to jail again." It must have mm-hmm. something in the way. I'm like, it must have Oman in the man in the whatever. I don't know. I'm, I'm just salt. Yeah. And for those but, of you, when I say salt, I mean he got bad luck. Bad stuff happens to him. I just want to clarify. <laughs> salt. I wouldn't clarify shit. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but, damn. <laughs> but um. I would I would agree, but except for the fact that it said what is it in um Amsterdam? It's supposed to be a self defense something. Mm-hmm. He was sentenced in a Dutch court or whatever. So I'm trying to think like, is he gonna be in prison there? Or are they extraditing him to Jamaica to go to prison? Yeah, I'm, like I'm wow. I really don't know. <laughs> that people yeah. I don't know why they keep going over to these people places and ended up in stuff. Not to say that it's them. It could be anything happening, mm-hmm. whatever. But it's something seems to be happening over that side of the world, but yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Certain placements are really too interesting. Going like low key. Like Amsterdam, just because I think I talked about this before. Just because I want to go on the Audubon right. and you know, ain't no speed limit. I just want to hit I it. I think everybody should know why me, the herbalist, would like to. Go to of Amsterdam. course, and of course, the red light district and all them type of stuff. Mm-hmm. That's what I want to see, and then I'll take my ass back home. Yeah, but I need more than two days there. But as mm-hmm. far as Jack Kirago, I don't know. Like he was, you know, for those who know or don't know, like he was accused of rape, right? Mm-hmm. And guilty and then he did all this time if y'all remember prison walls and all that shit back mm-hmm. in the day. my father now, was so upset he was able to record music while he was locked up yo can so i upset. yo i went to a concert in queens yo back in the day mm-hmm. it was right before it's a thing that like a festival that happened all the time irie jamboree whatever and they had him and he was on yeah yeah and they had him um on like the screen or whatever, the big screen, mm-hmm. doing it while he's in jail, a performance. Oh, basically, yes, like like if he was on stage, da, 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 but they had a big ass screen with him on it. Wow. Yes. Yeah, I just remember them shooting the video <laughs> while he was. And I was just like, yo, really? Mm-hmm. Yeah, really. Like you might as well stay in jail. What's the point of coming out? You got free meals and all this, and you still get to record and make music. Ball this out. Is- this is facts, but you also talking about Jamaica. Certain things are just not... Where are the cartel upheld? videos? <sighs> Free world boss. Anyways. Now facts. <laughs> Big fans. Big fans, man. Big fans. Keep on the fans. 
huge but yeah so that's that also we missed um apparently there's a have you heard about the crown act the crown act what is this wait that sounds familiar it's basically long story short allowing black people to wear their natural hair to work yes and not be discriminated against that's yeah essentially what it is i definitely Um, had a slow moment because crown yeah (laughs) (laughs) so apparently um the federal bill hr 2116 officially passed the house of representatives there was 235 yes and 185 nays. I was like, that's Assholes. a lot. Asshole. And it now awaits a Senate vote. Were they to the pass the Crown Act? Huh? Were they the whites? I'm pretty sure it was, but I wouldn't be surprised if there was a few Uncle Toms in there. I Mm-mm. wouldn't be surprised. Mm-mm. But that literally, I think the same day that we recorded is when I got the email and I was like, oh shit. But I believe I saw it on I believe I saw it on Twitter. So Twitter. Wow. Okay. Um, but <laughs> girl, potato, potato. Those okay. are the <laughs> those are the two things that I was like, oh shit, we forgot to talk about these last week, and I was like, Aah. but yeah, um, shit, that shouldn't even be a thing if you ask me. Exactly. So I was like, I w- listen. Okay, so I told you how when I first started my new job, I started mm. combing my hair, right. <laughs> like the first week or two like i braided it down i had some twists in the back i, I was doing hairstyles okay like you never right. know some people can't call them here <laughs> and then i was like because it's not a white owned business they're indian so mm-hmm. i was like you know they brown they still not kinfolk but you know they uh, i feel you i feel you they close i was like i was like let me see how they gonna feel about it? Just a little curl, little curl. So I, I let a little curl out one day. <laughs> Nobody never said nothing. I got like, oh my god, your hair looks so pretty. And I was like, oh, up uh, there okay. we go. All right, all right. Right. So then we did like a cute little twist out, very neat, kempt, little decent twist out. Mm-hmm. I was like, oh my god, your hair. <laughs> said, Don't play with me now, nigga. Don't do this. Right. So I, you know, after like probably <laughs> I think <laughs> after like a month. I was like, let me see what they finna do when I just let this motherfucker do what the fuck it does. Let that bitch fly. Listen. And <laughs> the first, I was like, so, like this girl, um, I'm low-key in love with her. Um, She's Dominican and from New York. And she married to a Jamaican man. And she got a fat old booty. Oh, my God. But, yeah. So, she. <laughs> um, yo, yo. I love her. I love her. She knows she, I, listen, she knows what she looks like. She I knows. Leave people woman. She sat on my lap at the Christmas party, but we're not going to talk about that. I was, I was like, listen, girl, I done had some tequila. Don't play with me. <laughs> you stupid. I don't mess with married people in real life. Anyways. So. Whoa. I sneezed. Damn. That was the pollen cold. fucking with you? Because there's a lot of pollen sneeze. running around I ain't got right no now. Nigga, so oh. Well, no, yeah, I sneeze for. You want Kleenex? <laughs> you mixy? Go. Anyways, I don't. I have a strict rule against married people. Mm-mm. If I'm married, not me. But um, but yeah, <laughs> you Aggie. I'm gonna figure out what did I talk about. Oh yeah, she was like, oh my god, I love your hair. She's like, your hair looks so good. Da-da. But she has like mm-hmm. the looser curls, like you know, like yeah, I got you. Whatever. I was like, girl. She was like, girl, wear your fucking hair. Don't nobody care about that shit. And I was like, don't say. <laughs> Don't Let me it. find out. And I found like, out. And me, they, really, they really don't care. Because you see my hair, how it look now. I be psh, roll out of bed, spray look a water, I'm going on my business. Oh, my gosh. Well, like, man, well, nigga, I can't believe but I can't <laughs> But, yeah, so that that whole cr- I remember when I worked at um my very first place of employment, Um, there was a... I wish, girl. Listen, hell nah. About that belly hell up. nah, hell Lord. nah, hell and nah. I was in college, so I definitely wanted to. <laughs> Whoa. Anyways, <laughs> my very first place of employment was in retail. I'm not getting nobody in a shout out, and um, <laughs> I think probably about like four or like probably about a few months before I was like about to quit order because it was like right around graduation from college time, and I was like, fuck y'all, but um. There was this notice posted in the, like the employee break room area talking mm-hmm. about 
attire. No, like sure. how staff is supposed to be presented. Because first of all, we had to wear the clothes that they sell or unbranded clothes or whatever. Because, you know, we had to look okay. apart. Yeah, I got that. And um, so I was like, why are y'all worried about attire? Like the only people who don't be in attire is overnight and nobody sees them because they're coming after the store closes. Right. So I'm going to read the piece up here, Paul. Mm-hmm. Hair must be kempt and neat. Oops. I was like, oops, that kempt word. Mm-hmm. I know that word only applies to certain textures of hair. Yep. And I need y'all to not be playing with me. Well, Mind you, this was back in the day. In they put it right in the break room. Bitch, I uh-huh. all see that shit. Mm-hmm. Not making a mistake. And it was all a whole bunch of niggas that worked in the back too. Like there you go. <laughs> and you know what? Nine times out of ten, if your ass ain't on the floor, where you gonna be at in the break room? Exactly. So that was lucky for them, mm-hmm. for everyone involved. This was back in the day. My mother still combed my hair, right, and still kept up with my hair for the most part. So it was once in a while that my hair was out doing this young, wild, and free shit. Mm-hmm. So I wasn't really too, but I was like. So if I decide I want to wear Afro to work one day, it's gonna be pressure. Like mm-hmm. y'all was paying us for like six seventy five an hour back then. This was way back in the day. Damn. Yeah. Oh, this was like back in two thousand seven. Yeah, damn. <laughs> Golly, six seventy five. <laughs> yeah, I was like, y'all ain't paying nobody nothing. I knew that wasn't no money, and y'all was trying to be funny about some hair. Like, Girl. but it's a very um blanco company. So why? Yeah, why? <laughs> exactly why yeah so that alone i was just like mm, i don't know i'm glad it happened i mean it's like okay y'all thanks thanks we appreciate mm-hmm. it it should have been a thing it shouldn't have been a thing in the first place as exactly. long as you're in food service and your curls ain't falling into nobody's taco exactly or no shit like that like, I don't think and pull it up you get what i'm talk? saying then there should be no <laughs> issue also but if you're in that industry and you have that hair you're supposed to be wearing nets and stuff that's all exactly thing. Man. PPE. But I guess big up yourself. Mm-hmm. Whatever. Whoever. I just Thank wanted you. to pass the Senate. I mean, granted, I want somebody to tell me something about my hair so I can call them racist. Listen, it's not much I could listen, I have lots, baby. So listen, it's either one and move. Yeah. Either we going or we ain't going. Coming up with Tano Wigger. Yana Gala. <laughs> so I don't know what to tell you. Yana what? Yana Gala. So Yana Gala. Some of the know I don't know what to tell you. It's gonna be locks, baby. I don't even want to put on a wig. My head be hot. Oh, After no. my hair get due for two minutes, I'd be ready to take it out. I mm-mm. nah, we don't I do the wigs. We don't do the, we don't do the wigs. We 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 put wigs on fire and we burn them things. Oh, we do that outside, mm. and it makes yeah, more. That's yeah. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah. Yes, yeah, we do. do. I hate you. However, yes, we what? do. All right. So all of that on happened, a nice but... misty night. Okay. You, you feel me? Mm. So, what has happened? No, not what has happened. There has been so much happening within the like last time we spoke and the, this whole thing. Like, mm-hmm. from people I get boxed to. Speaking of that, I, hold on, they write that stuff. What? This what, is my what? thing. Do you feel like that was staged? Ha! Ah. First of all, what, what what are we talking about when you say what? You talking the about the box? What box? <laughs> When Will Smith went and slapped Chris Rock on stage Love at the it. Oscars. Um, maybe, possibly, but not really also. I don't think so. Mm. I think Will is tired as hell. Mm. I think Will is tired of disrespect. I think the man is tired. I do not think that damn thing was staged, son. Because Chris face at the end, bro, when he was walking away, that nigga looked like, mm-hmm. yo, oh, like, what the f- for real, like this just happened, yeah, nigga, on live TV, nigga. Eight K, yeah. yeah, you get box in an eight K, and that's my thing too, cause um, Smitty or well, McDonald text me talking about some. It was staged. Not old McDonald, then- <laughs> my nigga, not E I E I. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> and my thing is, I understand their point of view, cause they're like all three of them are actors, and I was like, yeah, but I don't know, man. Jada's face looked like. I'm everybody. sick of this shit. Everybody. Everybody. Uh-huh. I'm, but, and it's like that. They're actors. But it's like, there was, a, it was just, it was giving vibes like that was not fake. That mm-hmm. was like, well, and then he just sat down. He was doing And then what you call it, like, pulled him to the side afterwards too. Denzel so I was like, Perry. yeah. No, Tyler, right. Tyler Perry? Mm-hmm. I think it was like I Tyler. Whoever. Whoever. I think. Yeah. Um, 
I don't think I don't honestly don't think it was fake. I think okay. Will is tired mm-hmm. of the disrespect. I think over the past like few years, it's been nothing but disrespect for this man. Yeah. Like I just think and he's tired. even still with everything that's going on with that too, like the conversation surrounding it, and this is shit that bothers me, right? Everybody's mm-hmm. some oh, so he slap him about that, but he won't slap him because he won't slap what's his name about that. And I'm like, okay, are you dumb? It was a consensual relationship between his wife and someone else mm-hmm. for over a decade. There has been whispers and rumors. We're talking about this August, August shit. August. Yeah, about them oh, having an situation, open relationship. Situationship shit entanglement or whatever the fuck you know what i'm saying so there's nothing where she was being offended by in an open relationship so he's defending his wife being disrespected and like y'all dumb that shit just so annoying i'm just like bro whatever but Mm -hmm. the thing that (sighs) i'm low-key annoyed about with the whole thing was like why are you making jokes about black women's lack of hair like whether or not she had um Chris mm-hmm. Parker's one of those people to me anyway. He's not my type of comedian. He doesn't... Yeah, he a coon. He's not funny to me. Like He's, he's not, offensive. He's, it's like shock you know, value. People that we like that are offensive, but it's mm-hmm. like offensive and it's still on that brink of... It's still funny. Mm-hmm. And you have people that are offensive and it's just like, bro, I wish you would shut your ass up. Yes. Like, this is not good. Him, he's yes. one of those. Because mm-hmm. somebody else could have said that same, you know, something else in a different kind yeah. of way and it might have went off different, but him... The delivery like, and bro. everything. Yeah. He ain't my type of comedian. I know this. Yeah. Yeah. Like, it, but he's not i can't think of ever sitting down and watching like a full chris rock stand up or anything like i'd rather that. him in movies he doesn't need to yes do jokes. yes mm-hmm. he doesn't need to do jokes movies are just fine did you see he that video where he's sitting down with what is this is it cs cc what are, it was a room full of white comedians and mm. they was just throwing around nigger is this a thing that had to do with homeboy Joe, whatever his name is? Was he involved Ooh. in that? Joe Rogan or whatever? No, I don't think Joe Rogan was in the video. Okay. I feel like it's that red haired comedian. What's his name? I think his last name is Lewis. I don't want to say C.K. Lewis. That's an author. C.S. Lewis. Some sure shit is. Like that. Sure is author. <laughs> <laughs> but his name is something Lewis, I think. I can't remember. Irrelevant. Either way, he was saying nigga, 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 nigga. And they were just sitting and there. He's and he, yes. Why? He was, Chris Rock was the only black person, and he was saying nigger with the ER hard yes hard and there was another one who accidentally said nigger and he was like but you just said it he was Can like yeah it, but you don't accidentally say nigger There's no never, but i'm saying he was trying I, no, no. Saying, he was trying like, not to say, say. it I, no, they touched on it you, whenever mm-hmm. white whites okay mm-hmm. there and say oh my gosh i accidentally said you don't accidentally say mm-hmm. nigger like hard like that you oh and then they made a anything. joke about that it's always a thought even before and out of any mind's mind, even you as a black person, sometimes you say mm-hmm. it, you're like, damn, couldn't I have a replace that with another <laughs> word? Did I really have to say that? You get what I'm saying? Yeah. You always get black people like, damn, maybe I should stop using that. Maybe I'm gonna try to mm-hmm. use it less. Why? Because it don't sound good either way. We say exactly. it. Exactly. But they just need to stop. I've been but no, I've been they it with made... a lot, <laughs> They even touched on that. He was like, you know, there's what did he say? Like, I don't know if he said it's white people like me or comedians like me or pe- something in reference to the people like me who say it openly. And then there's people like you who say it behind closed doors. And they were like, key keying about it. And I'm just sitting there like, and you a black man sitting here with this conversation and a you're comfortable rac- with it. Granted, we raccoon, my nigga. Granted, we know it happens. You really sitting there like, and there was one white guy there that he was just like, I'm not comfortable saying that. I'm not, I don't, I've never said it in my life and I'm not interested in saying it. Exactly. And then, Sit your ass down. Exactly. He was like, what did he say? He said something like, you still ain't getting invited to the cookout, but good job. <laughs> he, he's not trying to be there. He was like, there, he said something that was like, basically like, there's like a silver lining. So he's like, I'm not trying, I'm not looking to find it or something mm-hmm. basically. Like, I'm not looking to find it. I'm not, I have no interest in it. That's not mine to use or some shit like that. And I was just mm-hmm. like, you know, I'm glad somebody in his room has some kind of sense because. Yeah. Sir, what? But anyways, another conversation I was circulating around, that was the fact that he, <laughs> he did the documentary Good Hair. Yes. And then that whole thing happened, and I was just like, yeah, you know, stop. I'm tired of the the hate and the, and the pressure and the dislike and the, all this against the black woman. You already know mm-hmm. how I feel about this. I'm tired of it, especially by black men, which are stupid. Mm. Yeah. Anyway, not my place. Not gonna do it. But but just, facts. Like, they're a big joke all the time. Black women are a joke all the time. They're going through something serious. It's a joke. They're going mm-hmm. through something hard. It's a friggin' joke. It's not no damn joke. Especially yeah. And a- like, Mm. This comedian though has said some shit like another another white comedian. 
right? Mm. Talking about the bitch been bald. Jokes about it on her or about it are fine. It was tame as fuck. You super sensitive about it. Buy a fucking wig. Now, I don't like when the whites don't mind a business. Stay your white mm -hmm. ass business in your business. I don't like yes. it. Yes. Especially with something like this. Ugh. Like, being somebody that, like, grew up before Afros were cool and right. actually low-key, like, being picked on for not having a perm during, mm -hmm. like, school... That shit, I just low-key be like, I mean, I've always been an asshole, so I, it never really, like, bothered me. I used to just be like, why don't you love yourself? <laughs> like, no, I used to be schooling niggas. Yourself. No, dead ass. I used to be in, like, sixth grade, like, you want me to conform to the white man's idea of beauty? Like, <laughs> such a snob. Like, people used to hate yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, like that ass, and I used to just be like, I'm not interested in getting a perm. I'm not doing that for what, so I can look good to white people. Like, no. So it's like, I'm so happy that people are like, oh my god, natural hair, whatever, and you know, go you if you embrace it. You know how it, it is when they see you out, they love it. They be like, oh listen, my god, I'm and I'd be I like, hey, thank you. <laughs> they be like, oh my god, you're for oh my it's god. mine. I'd be so like, like taken sick. aback <laughs> when black women be like, oh my god, and I'd be like. They gush over you. They gush over your hair all the time. <laughs> They'd be like, oh my God. I'd be like, thanks. I didn't comb it. Appreciate it. Mm. Right? <laughs> it's so just unhealthy. Roll, just Don't rolled look over at it. and patted it once or twice. <laughs> For real. Just roll over and just pull that couple pots so it don't look too uh, flat. <laughs> just, um, thanks. <laughs> um, I do need us to not be on these people's stage, though, giving, us, giving them something else to talk about mm -hmm. as well. Um, Definitely. You know, it's a, it, it don't got to always be us. Yeah. We're not for you know Papa Show for everything. It like, have to be us. like, you could have stepped to him, like, after two. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? And say, yo, don't do that shit again. Slapped him afterwards. Yeah. Yeah. If you, you have to do it to. on camera. You know what I'm but, saying? So, but it was yeah. at the time, and, you know. Yeah. He was, huh, at first, and he was like, you know what? Yeah. Nah. And, Today, okay. Tonight I've had it. Tonight I've had it. Exactly. And it's funny because people are like, oh, but he was laughing at first. And I'm like, you know how much times I start laughing? And I'd be like, yo, my nigga, like, <laughs> ooh, don't fuck yeah, with me. Exactly. Exactly. Don't do it. People nice laugh out of discomfort. Laugh. Exactly. The nice nervous laughter that you have right before you know you're about to snap is like the crazy. Like, <laughs> it's the crazy coming out. <laughs> okay, so look. <laughs> like that? Yeah. yeah. And if you have never had that moment, you know, happy for you or whatever for real. for real but like nigga be laughing before they start crying like people laugh out of discomfort people laugh out of like mm -hmm. anger it's so many different things that people laugh about that's not necessarily humor like don't mm -hmm. misconstrue yeah. that with like oh. oh he didn't realize it wasn't funny like it's like the woman got a got a condition like what's your problem and she's like, talked about it too how she's insecure about like the he said he ain't no he said he ain't nobody he said he ain't nobody <sighs> okay that i don't know okay. i don't know impossible. what he knew it's not impossible i know it's I know. absolutely not impossible but that's but either me. way black women should not be the butt of your jokes there were a bunch of other people in the fucking black front row that had no hair that you could talk joke. about it could have been there's a million bald people in that damn room he could have said something mm -hmm. about but then that's be that part that everybody's like then i wonder for what stage because how many people could you really bounce off mm -hmm. like that that'll do mm -hmm. that kind of thing i don't mm -hmm. know all and I somebody was is, saying that he didn't write the joke and it was scripted and whatever. My thing is, I saw a post earlier that was like, so many comedians wouldn't have material if it wasn't for black women. And it's like, facts. why we got to be the butt of your jokes? Facts. But everybody fucking joke. Like, this is why. But then we, when, we, when we get jokey now, we wrong. Yeah. You're the angry black woman. Mm, yeah. It's too much. It's too aggressive. Mm. You're aggressive. I'll be that. You're aggressive. <laughs> I, I love how I'm saying you're aggressive. <laughs> I'm not, but that's okay. It must be a, I'm having a day. <laughs> um, yeah. What else keep this week? People get box off. <laughs> Hold on. All right. Another PSA. I come weekly with PSAs because it look like y'all yeah, yeah, acting up out here. So these children. Oh, geez. That have been finding these weapons, these guns, and shooting themselves, killing themselves, whatever. And I need to know what the hell the hell, what's going on with it? Because we just leaving guns out? Why? What? I was going to say poor, poor gun control, poor gun management. Um, I want to know where those things, those incidents happened. Like what um, state? Damn. 
You gonna have me do some research real quick. But I like, forgot. I feel like it's been happening in, like different places, so I can't even keep up. My okay. thing is, how does a child find an AR fifteen? <sighs> Oops. Oh. Listen, like how how does that happen? I've I've talked about this before on um on the show, and I grew up around guns. I right. can tell you where to find every single one of my father's guns growing up i can still tell you where to find a couple of his guns and i don't even live in jamaica because my father made sure i knew where every gun is is. and he didn't leave his gun just laying around anywhere buried under clothes the fuck but he also knew what kind of picking him up so let's go and not even just that he also sat us down and told us don't touch this this is what this does you have a listening child Right. exactly but That's not even just that i feel like even if you have kids that don't listen though i feel like a lot of the times people try so hard to shelter their children from things yeah. that they become curious about it because you won't tell them about tell it them and about then fuck like this happens but it's like okay maybe it probably would have still happened if you sat and i'm like hey this is a gun it kills people it hurts mm-hmm. people it's this this and this you're not supposed to do this blah 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 hey safety button no safety button trigger you know what i'm saying like basic knowledge of the weapon so that the child knows if they touch it what might happen because some of these things don't have a safety on it and if your child doesn't know that you drop the something and it lick look at something and then shot fire and then what like Oh, me never did know. Or did. Like, that shit's just irresponsible. I don't care how they want to look at it. And I'm not going to put the blame fully on the kids because no, they got it from never somewhere. That. Never that. But, but it's like... The AR-15 one, that was a three-year-old boy. Oh, shit. I'm not even sure. Wait, that's the one where they left the kid to go get food or whatever? Um, Yeah. They left a three-year-old in the house? No, I think it was the child, Um, their sibling. They were left with the uncle. Oh, okay. Then they it looks like they discovered it under a pile of clothes. Mm-hmm. And yeah, that's what happened with that. And then the other one was crazy. That video was like viral as hell now. I haven't with seen the girl, it. Girl, and then but my thing is, if you watch that video, I've heard like, about it. Just like you said, it's all about teaching them and letting them know stuff. Because the whole time she playing with the gun in the beginning of the video, her finger is on the trigger, and I'm like. This child, why is your and then she oh she shoots him accidentally. Then he drops, she drops down, you know, like shook because mm-hmm. I think and I think the you know the, the gunshot yeah boy the gunshot her air like her mm. eardrums was like shit so she dropped and it looked like she went ahead again on the ground picked it up and probably gripped the trigger again and then she ended up shooting herself like what? some people feel like she shot herself on purpose like that she was a really what she that did. was really quick decision making. Like she probably looked and was like, "Oh shit!" and then bloops. But I, like I said, that I didn't was see really that video. I also don't I think want it was, to see I the think video. It was poor handling. I think it was poor handling. I don't. That was you. You would have to see the video, and I advise you to go see it. I know you don't want to see, but it's not like you see blood or anything like that. It's not like that. Okay. You don't see anything like that. But is my she thing holding is, the phone or she set up the phone? Dog, the you know how these people be in the they bathroom with it on a sink. Oh, so right. they catch up on it. Okay. Yeah. So if you watch it, there's legit three, four seconds, if that, between them dropping and then like her deciding. So that would have been some. Mm. She it's not like she got up and was like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, and then killed herself. Like, listen, the last thing you see is them dropping and you don't see anybody ever again. It was too quick. I don't know. It's giving me vibes like she did the same thing. Like how she was holding it with him, she probably went back and grabbed it and clapped herself. Like my thing, you wouldn't grab the handle. I don't know. Don't don't worry about it. But all right. And it was on kids. live. I guess so. Yeah. No, or maybe she was. I don't know if it was on a live thing or maybe she was just like making a video. Because I'm trying not, to figure out how you go on live sometimes. Mm-hmm. Like the comments and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. So I don't think so. I think it was like a video. Damn, you're right. Now that I think about it, how did they get... Because why would they do that, right? Yeah, like, who would post that? Like, why would you post that? Hmm. I don't know. But if it was a live guy. That's... Shit like that disturbs me. Like... Yeah, I be seeing some stuff. Like, people getting their ass beat on live. The girl that was on live... Oh, in the car? And the girl drug that ass out the car. Boy. I love watching... Okay, I'm ignorant. I love watching a good fight video. Because we love her, fight videos, her reflexes. Girl. <laughs> I her reflexes was quick. Videos, she realized Shorty was coming in the car. She said, do, do. I was like, oh, shit. 
And then somebody <laughs> from the outside had the yes. outside view. <laughs> Yeah, son. Yeah, I like me a good fight. Don't play. <laughs> yes, two adults that know what they're doing. Yes, let me see them hands go. Speaking of the tussling, thought, you have not. You need to watch um that girl cabaret show. That's all I'm gonna say about that. I'm not gonna say her name. Text it to me. You know who I'm talking about? No. Oh yes, I do. I cabaret. It. Yes, you need to I watch that. About talking it. about fights, you like fights? Stevie. You need to watch that. <laughs> yes, her. Yeah, you need to watch that. Oh, oh she, in, she in trouble they be right letting now, them fight? They in trouble. Because of the fighting or for foolishness? For fighting. Mm. Yeah, but more than her, like her man in trouble too because he put his hands on her. Ooh. Yep. So, things. But we'll talk about that the next, yeah. like whenever you get to watch it and all that shit. But, um, mm-hmm. what else? I keep, no. If y'all got kids, and I know everybody out here, you got to be Even if you, you don't so you do have you gotta, kids. Yeah, no, no. Even if you don't have kids. But I'm saying, like, in your household right now. Like, I'm just saying, like, you know, mm-hmm. you're talking about the kids then. So, I'm saying... Like, teach your kids certain shit. Let them be aware of certain things. But also, do your part and do some extra shit. Get you a safe. Like, if you know you're going to have these things around, there should be, like, there shouldn't be a chance in hell that it can happen. Like, it needs to be somewhere, like, locked away, tucked. I don't, like, I don't know. I know it needs to be accessible, because obviously. But, damn, I just feel like people ain't, people ain't thinking, man. They're not. And, you know... I always, like, think about how easy it is to get a gun here. Yep. Because I just got my gun license, right? And granted, uh-uh. <laughs> so I keep that thing. Who I got to call? Who I got to call? Who I got to call? But. Yeah. You know? <laughs> what was your name say? I keep that baby Glock. I ain't fight with no randoms. Mm-hmm. But. Uh, <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> but. My thing is, the only reason I got a a license is because i mean it's an open carry state so i can have my shit on me as long as i have a license otherwise house or car you Mm -hmm. know what i'm saying but the fact that you just can just let me just go get one Mm -hmm. that's scary yeah and then like the fact (laughs) that it's not like florida where you have to do a course to get it Yep. It's like we talked about this, but like I just can't get over that. Like you don't want to teach them nothing about how to handle the gun, nope. how to do nothing. Just go pick it up on Guan. Just nope. see it there. Nope. <laughs> and no. then when shit like this happens, you're like, oh well um, no, because you don't know the basics about having a gun. All you know is you see niggas with guns and people shoot well, guns and this whatever. Damn country got a gun control issue anyway. Oh, of course. And we know that. Of That's course. There is gun control problem. Of course. I ain't Speaking of, I've been seeing stuff about in Jamaica about gun control problems too. You saw the post I sent I'm you. I'm sorry. Today? Now? Well, Ben. But the post oh, that I sent you the other day what the had me dying. Talk about some low on cash or whatever the buried gun in your neighbor's backyard yes <laughs> yes yo we are not an infama thing in a like big time big time infama no i no people need to be safe and yes chill r.i.p to the kids mm-hmm. though seriously r.i.p like that's oh boy yeah. My father would dig me up and kill me again if I did some dumb shit like yes. that. Like, yeah. What? I agree. Where same. I play with a gun for? Same. Where I pick it up for? Feel one. Where I touch it for? You know, say enough to touch it. Same. A three year old with an AR fifteen though. Is Bruh. anyone getting what the fuck that Bruh. looks like? Picture that in your mind, bro. That's something is about half their size. <laughs> You want to go nice same size? Probably wear something about the same. Like, ah oh, man, I hate it. I really do. I need y'all to do better. What else going on? What else? Happening? Um, what else is keeping? Let me lock up the notes. Mm. Oh. oh, what? Go ahead. Watch out! Watch out! No, no, no. Go ahead. Twinning. <laughs> um, R.I.P. Speaking of R.I.P.s, R.I.P. to that boy. Oh, wait. Yeah, this damn god looks like a. That sounds like a damn week on obituary. Damn, bitch. Mm-mm. Um, the obituary R-I-P. station at TVJ. <laughs> yeah, not TVJ. <laughs> For real, but um, the boy on the ride now. Oh, dog. What you think? What you think? Give it to me. Give it to me. What you think? I haven't watched that video either, even though you sent it to me. You really be killing me. I like, really like to protect my peace. <laughs> um, that things disturb me. me. Like, first of all, the fact that 
Oh. People are saying that they hear the splat. You do. You do. Like, I could watch stuff like that in movies because it's fake. But, like, knowing that it's real, like, I just, oh, my gosh. Okay. First of all, mm-hmm. supposedly he was strapped in. and the They say, they thing say was he was still so strapped in. That is a big boy. Was a big boy. I don't know how he could have still been strapped in and slipped out the way he did. He ain't skinny. How did that happen? Yeah. Something wrong. It's a it's a ride malfunction or something because you can't take listen, I done been on my fair share of roller coasters. And the way the homie broken? pulled did the seat huh? break? That's what I'm saying. Wait, could that happen, right? That probably could the happen. Seat, did the seat break? Do they have weight limits on these rides or is it just height limits? No, they have weight limits as well, but I think he was okay, right? He was supposed to be okay. He wasn't overweight, I don't think. He's just mm. big as hell. No shade. He was a big boy. Yeah, because I'm, listen, I done been on my face share. I done been Harlem pull upon the people them something. Yeah, and I in mid air It's not budging. Yeah. Granted, I don't have no upper body strength, but still, right. I, you know, but that, hmm, that I don't sound know. like one hell of a lawsuit. Yeah, it is, but it's it not going to bring back the picnic. But you know, it's being dirty already because now it's like, yeah. at first, they were like, damn, how is this possible? Because they were trying to say, no, it's y'all because y'all didn't check and make sure he did it. Da, da, da. Now they're saying, uh, no, it was actually still intact. So what? What's so how team? did he get out? We're going to find out. Mm-hmm. We're going to figure it out. We're going to figure it out. Yeah, but that shit, though. Rest in peace to him. That's, That's what I'm saying. I'm not talking about dead people. Wait, no. R.I.P. Blocks. That's sad. Yes. Sad. Yeah. You know, how did he pass? Smoke on massive nose. I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna think that maybe I think he maybe was sick or something. But okay. Yes. Yeah, sir. I've been seeing that, and I was just like, damn. Right. <sighs> so you go. So you go. Yeah. In and out. <laughs> mm-hmm. That shit had me stop and think the other day about like the amount of people were dead from 2020. Shit. Like. <laughs> Between people that, like, I know of and people that I know personally. And I'm just like, bro, like, mm-hmm. things are going. Mm-hmm. People are dropping out. People are dropping out. A lot of, and a lot of kids. Yes. A lot of kids. Yeah. I don't mm-hmm. know. It, it makes me, I get, you know, whatever about it when I see the kids mm-hmm. them because I have, like, 152 mm-hmm. nieces and nephews. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I got, you know, all like, of my little you know, cousins. Poppy and all that stuff. All yeah. That I love and care about. And, e- you know, even, you know, my 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 little twin and all them mm-hmm. kids, all what I think about them and stuff. And it's just like, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? People are crazy. And, and you know, these little beautiful little black babies, I can't. Seriously. Like, that I shit. Because this world is crazy. Mm-hmm. Crazier than before. So it's just like, Man, I just be praying for everybody, bro. Cause bro. <laughs> so that's literally all you can do. Because for you keep yourself alert. That's all. Mm-hmm. And Definitely be ready. stay ready, so you don't have to get ready at this point. That part mm-hmm. in a real way. Mm-mm. Okay, so yes, random wow. way left field, right? Oh shit! So remember How far they left? Like way left. Hell. Um. So remember, a couple months ago when I got locked out of my car, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, I do. Yeah. <laughs> so that day, I don't even know why it came back up. I think it's because I saw something on Twitter about like Jamaican men in chivalry and like whatever. Mm-hmm. They're talking about like how chivalry is dead and da 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 and the whole protect black woman thing or whatever. Right. right. It made me think about that day that I was locked out of my car. And I was like, yo, the amount of men that passed by me while I'm standing outside, obviously locked out of my car. Mm-hmm. Right. Like, obviously, because I'm low key trying to jimmy the bitch open. <laughs> like, I'm doing, doing say dog. What? Just walk past. I look straight. And I was yeah. just like, oh, no, what? Let's see. Well, that's bad. Because I'm man. like, dog, if I know if I was still in Florida, one of them Jamaican yeah. men would have walked and said, Mommy, what? Mm, you all right? Mm-hmm. Brown and everything good? You know what I'm saying? Somebody would have said something to me. Even if I looked at my tricone, look me. You in the wrong state for that. 
apparently but i thought and then also and then also at the same time no No. that's kind of that's kind of dead no um you in the worst state for that and and also the best state at the same time that you glad somebody walked past you and didn't even come to you in the first place <laughs> but so it's the really a positive folks, and a negative the black folks though it wasn't it wasn't in an area with a lot of white people it was a bare black but people that, that them on me attack. who oh, you think Jesus. i'm talking about i ain't talking about the wax <laughs> stop saying it like that i ain't talking about the wax <laughs> talking about others <laughs> those others but, <laughs> but i was just like i was really appalled i was like what do well, i don't know what let's see mm. i said we're still with more on a kind because i don't know where it is no Mm-mm. like what see this one little old spanish man looked like he wanted to come help me like mm-hmm. he really like he wanted to come help me. He just kept like he drove by. He looked at me. And they I was look, just like, uh, I can guess yeah, it. but he looked like he didn't really speak no English. You so know I was about to be like, Papi Bang, por favor, thing, are you that man? <laughs> the wildest thing as a person who was like, bro- like bred and raised up north, son, mm-hmm. versus coming here, you oh. come to find out that up north people are way more friendly and cool than people down here them have manners that's why that's very crazy to me them have manners it's very crazy i don't know what southern hospitality y'all was talking about but that shit dried up Mm -hmm. real quick because trust me you could go to ct to whatever and you have people hello good morning good evening Mm -hmm. you know holding the door nothing you know what i'm saying Mm -hmm. and all that stuff and bitch here oh okay yeah, no. Oh, them okay. disgusting. Oh, okay. <laughs> what? Disgusting body. And I'm talking about even the Watts. Mm-hmm. Even up north, even the Watts, they they mm-hmm. pull their shit together. Them, little something about them. But then again, that kind of, you know, you kind of got to remember where you at. Yeah. When it come on that scale, like, with the Watts. Yeah. Yeah. They free free out here. Yeah. They, they, can't, they, they can't carry on with certain shit in certain places. Yeah, also. they openly racist. Fact. I'm still tripping off the cotton fields and the Confederate flags. I just, you know, I will just never be okay with seeing those things just, just out. There's some places here, like, when you drive by them, whatever, you'll be like, yo, I know that was a plantation, bro. Yes. Like, I know that was the big house, dog. Like, Bruh. I know. Yes. There's Bruh. actually, like, there's one when you're coming into the state. Mm. Like, I remember I've driven, but usually I'm driving at night, so I've never really paid any attention to it. But mm. the last time I came back and it was like broad daylight and I was like, I couldn't feel that. Big. Like, huge, like acres. And I'm like, and then way over yonder oh. is a nice little house sitting up there with, you know, the plantation yeah. style with the ark and the, the big house. Yeah. I was like, I, like a chill ran over me. I was like, man, punch this bitch to 90 and keep going about my business. Listen, <laughs> peace to the ancestors. Gotta uh, go. You gotta go. Mm-mm. And they just out there all willy-nilly. Just Who's picking the cotton? I'm dead. The cotton is just out there willy-nilly? I just want to know who's picking the cotton. <laughs> it's my nephew. I picked the cotton. I'm about to say, wait, the cotton is out there just willy-nilly? <laughs> what the hell? I mean, what the cotton I want to know. <laughs> well, pick, somebody else yes. yeah, said we are. Somebody still no, on no. Somebody got to pick it. Because I heard they still keeping slavery, so. Oh. Mm. Oh. Yeah. I know. <laughs> Not surprised, but I didn't know. <laughs> yeah. You know, but... Uh, yeah. Um, one last thing. Um, the term trauma bonding. Oh shit! No, no, no. We're not gonna, <laughs> <laughs> bruh. I yo, I I didn't know you was coming with. It's kind of so. Apparently, I've been loud and wrong with what I thought trauma bonding was. So what is trauma bonding? Because maybe me, I'm wrong too. Let me let me because I listen to you a lot. So, let's see. So, apparently it's not when you and another person bond over shared trauma. It's That's not what it is. It is... Okay, what does it say? A trauma bond is formed between the abusive person and the person being abused. It is psychological response to the cycle of abuse. And it's reason. It's the reason a lot of men and women find it very hard to leave abusive relationships, no matter how much pain it's causing them. So, it's between the abuser and the abused that's the trauma bond i makes a lot of sense when you look at it in that perspective but i kind of just feel like 
does the abuser really need the bond? Couldn't they just be all around her? I mean, that's what I was thinking. Both? But apparently, it's a psychological term, and that's the actual oh, definition. Oh, the actual for definition. It. Yeah. So it's the abuser and the abusee. Yes. Abuse. <laughs> I was going to yeah, say the abusee. <laughs> <laughs> the abused and the abuser. Okay. Uh-huh. So when they got, so when they're caught up together and can't leave. Yeah. When the two of them just wrap up in a fuckery. Okay. So what are you going to call the next one then? That's what I want to know. Up on stock. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it looks so. Yeah. Oh, so when you yeah, what would you call that then? If you and a person y'all going through trauma and then y'all bond over it, because it sound like trauma bonding. The true. <laughs> like what? Yeah. What do you call it? Still sound like trauma bonding. Like I yeah, don't know. But I am not the um, medical professional, so we just uh, not that master. So I guess yeah. what they say go. Thank you for the update though. Yeah, because cool. I was like I've been loud and wrong because I'm sitting here talking about how people having trauma bonds with people. <laughs> Mm-mm. loud and wrong and i am okay with saying that i was wrong i'm gonna have a uh-huh. problem with it so that's how i was like yeah. listen tell me so i can do it yeah so i don't sound stupid out in these streets yeah like yeah, they be like mm. these think they know what they're talking about <laughs> for real they're at kiki no 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 they tell me something wrong <laughs> tell Yo. me something wrong please do me a big one but what else is on here is that everything <laughs> What else I got lying? Ooh. Uh-oh. This sounds spicy. <laughs> now when that sounds juicy. There was a question. What kind of question? Who does a person love more? The oh, person shit. they lie to or the one they continue to tell the truth? No, man. This sounds like some baby again. boy shit. No, ask me that again. Who does a person love more? The person they lie to or the one they continue to tell the truth? I lied to these bitches. Let me stop. <laughs> Yo, that's Friggin like Jody and difference. baby boy. Yeah, for real. That's the difference between like, oh man. I lied to you because I care about your fucking feelings. Yeah, I'm telling versus, these bitches the truth because I don't give a fuck about them. Versus. Oh. Do right. I, I can Versus I can be who I am and tell you what it is. Yeah. Mm. Listen, I don't care if I love you, love me, or not, you know, tell me the truth. They always say the realest nigga is who could do what, say what the truth is, and still get their way. Uh, <laughs> you know? They say that's the realest nigga on the board. I'm you just saying, me? I never had to lie to nobody uh, yeah, to get my way. Like, say what, tell the truth, and I still get my way. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I just feel like if you got to lie, you ain't doing it right. Shit, bro. I don't know. Because why they would say, what, I'm lying because I don't want to lose you. Or I don't want to hurt your feelings or whatever the fuck. Yeah, whatever. Losing someone versus someone that's basically knowing that you're a piece of shit. Mm Mm-hmm. It's fine, though, when they know you're a piece of shit. Yeah, because there's no, like, expectations of change or anything like that. Exactly. You obviously feel more comfortable. Yeah. You're afraid to lose that person. Yeah, I it's feel like fear. I would be more afraid to it's lose a person I could be fear, myself though. with. You know yeah, what I'm saying it's all rooted in fear at the end of the I day. I think a lot of it too is. is control. Correct. Exactly. So, exactly. And with that person, you could totally lose control and be yourself. So, mm-hmm. I'm going to have to take that side on that one. So, the, the one you're telling the truth is the one you love more? Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. I, could, I mean, it's. <laughs> It's not a, <laughs> it's a double-edged I can, I can sword. See, I see it from both sides. Yes, exactly. A complete double-edged sword. I can see both sides. Because people are like, I lied to I didn't want to hurt you. But it's like... But it's like, are you, are I, you I'm being yourself? What I'm saying. Yeah, I'm sticking with what I'm saying. Yeah, because my thing is, I can't say I love somebody if I'm not comfortable with them. Right. So if I feel like I have to bite my tongue, or if I have to sugarcoat stuff, or if I have to word things a certain way to make it more digestible for you or whatever i'm gonna be like i'm gonna really want to deal with you you know like mm-hmm. i'm you know so it's kind of like, and i'm but very is big it, on isn't that can, can that also not be a part of like you guys learning to communicate as well though because, yeah yeah that's what i'm saying like you might say some be saying something that you don't even know is mm-hmm. whatever until you figure it out like oh I'm, my bad this offend you okay so let me change it up for you real quick mm-hmm. but, but i not even just but i get what you're saying yeah, that yeah. you're constantly on eggshells about i guess mm-hmm. yeah like you always feel like you gotta like censor yourself or something in a way to appease mm. this person yeah to i be, yeah to i'm word palatable there you go that's the yeah word. i'm gonna be uh, thank you <laughs> i'm gonna and I know be, the word i'm not dumb don't get it twisted y'all like, <laughs> <don't>. <laughs> dumb. 
I'm going to be the one that's going to be like, you know, I'm a care about the way this enough. Like, yeah, because yeah, you know some ignorant long time. So, yeah, I just. You are indeed ignorant. <laughs> <laughs> like, friend. if I can't talk to you, like, eh, like, come on reason with you and say, yo, babes, nah. I'm be like, you, my nigga, you love your babes? Who you be your babes into? Like, you love a your babes? I ain't gonna find me a Jamaican babe. Where y'all at? Y'all don't be wanting uh, me. <laughs> here we go. I'm gonna do two eye roll. <laughs> but, yeah, I just, this person just said they used to do intermediate fasting. Intermediate? Listen. So, anyway, friend. <laughs> <laughs> People love them more than us. Listen. So what's up? <laughs> so you don't like the word intermediate? That's what they call it, I think. Inter- intermittent. No. Thank you. We it. We I was like, we wait. We get you. That's why I was like, wait, intermediate. <laughs> I had to catch myself. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> intermediate. Jesus. Well, but tell us, I'm tired before we start recording. Okay. You did tell me you were sleepy. You did tell me that. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Intermittent is the word. Okay. Appreciate you. Appreciate you mm. for coming along. <laughs> Yo, words mean things. Mm-hmm. Jesus. Anyways, I'm not, we, about to do the, we, we about to do this black people shit. Damn. Mm-hmm. What, time, what time is that? You see that? What's that? Mm-hmm. That's a 10? That's crazy. <laughs> I just want to say, though, yes. like, circle back around to the um Will Smith something. Yes. Like, the thing about, like, the whole, like, back, laughing or whatever. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> Yo, they've been killing me with the memes, son. You know they're quick. Somebody got a tattoo of an outline of the... Uh, yeah, I saw that. I saw what? that. Did you see the um, the Ike Turner? <laughs> they changed I, the face I've to I've seen Wilson. so many different things. I'm tired. Mm-mm. Y'all, listen, y'all creative. I hope y'all getting paid for all this creativity that y'all doing on the internet and, like, y'all real life. Because... Yeah, people, and there be people at their own house getting slapped the fuck up over here putting stuff. Uh-huh. It's funny. Well. You know, somebody got to be the underdog. <laughs> exactly yeah but what you saying but no um <laughs> i had a question on here i was like how many racist jokes have you laughed at or like you know what i'm saying like how much batiman joke you laugh after like there's so many like unethical jokes i have cackle quotes <laughs> that- cackle that <laughs> all of those that you just named every single last one you just named i have cackled what the hell <laughs> some people don't like me <laughs> right because if something is funny i'm gonna laugh like i'm gonna laugh now there's a difference between being funny, being crass, and just being disgusting. Like there's there's a difference. Like some I'll, of y'all I'll like to sprinkle all three a little every now and again. You know, like just a little okay. sprinkle. Some people just like they just go for it's shock value, mm-hmm. and it don't matter who gets offended or who. And they anybody kept bringing up it. anybody. Yeah. Can get it. And they kept bringing up Dave Chappelle. Y'all gonna leave Dave? Yeah. And I'm just like, do y'all ever listen? Do y'all actually listen to his stand-ups? Or y'all just heard the one trans joke and just... That's usually how that goes. It's clickbait. You know how these people... Come on. You know how these mm. people do. They don't watch nothing. They don't read nothing. They, they see go everybody on TikTok, upset. Mm-hmm. They see something. They go on Twitter Band and they take it upset. as fact. They don't do no yep. research. Nothing. They take it as fact. You see yep. what we just went through with the vaccine wars? Come on. You know. It's <laughs> all about... Vaccine war. You, know, you see what I'm saying? <laughs> like... The vaccine games. Child. Listen, I want to go to Puerto Rico. I'm down. I want to go again. You know, I need me a balcony out there. I'm with it. You need one out. I need a balcony. Oh, you know, you know what I'm talking about. And if you don't, you don't. You just listen. If you don't know what I need a balcony for, I don't know what the, you ain't. I don't know. <laughs> Are you looking forward to igloo? Yerp. Let go, yeah. the bird. Let go the oh, bird. Jesus. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bring out that smooth. Quiet. Yes, Quiet. yes, and today you want to see me. Let me tell Mm-mm. you. Yeah, that practice. Listen, today in front of me right now, short and the fucking yeah. Come here, <laughs> come here. <laughs> you know, come here, look for the whistle. And I'm listening. Yo, whistle, I kind of, kind of, well, I love pin on. So Mm-mm. I'm here, I'm working it out. I am. Yeah, I'm getting we myself have, what, together. Days? Yes, uh, I am here. So. I'm getting it together. Tightening up my rifle walk. Yeah. No, they pan all them something. No, I'm gonna tighten up my stir fry. 
Stir fry now, fry good. <laughs> Not yet. That one, that one clean up. But I'll be nice and ready after that. Oh gosh. Mm-hmm. Wait, that's a ha- that's the one thing I forgot that brought me to it. I was just talking about the dancing and the music. Did you mm-hmm. see the video of Beanie Man? Yes. And I dance. Yes. Basically, Beanie Man was saying, just to cut it short, that um. The, all the DJs are playing is the gunman tunes, mm-hmm. the, the, the trap. That what you call it, trap dance hall. Yeah, trap uh, dance hall. That's technically what it of, is. Yeah, very much. And that's all they play. They ain't playing no real good dance hall. No more mm-hmm. like one time. I on this, I'm split in two mm-hmm. because it's like I feel you because you know I like me my oldies mm-hmm. and my two thousands, like a drop nineties. Oh, hello, nineties dance. I'm like hello, like who's not the no sweeter like, not. Me. So I feel it. Like you probably let me can't go a party, go hear me one tune again. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And not even just that. He was talking about like present Every- dance all too. He was talking about everybody too. He was like mm-hmm. even some little artists that want to talk, that can't mm-hmm. get a boss because not. First of all, a lot of the music, a lot of it is cool. You know, when you want to eh, 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 every now and yeah. again, but a lot of it is like, whoa, crazy. Some of it yeah. is a little crazy. I do miss just dancing and, mm. and good, happy time. Music. The dancing aspect gone... of dance hall. Yes. Now it's like, wait, what the hell? Reggae? Who got took off the billboard? Hmm? Dance hall or something got took off the billboard. Hold on there. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let me get the fox. Let me get the fox. <laughs> Um, let me go see what I go on. Yes, sir. Unruly fest billboard removed in King set. No, the power con cars fall. What is that? All no, that the all listen. Either way, I'm gonna find it. We're mm-hmm. gonna bring it back on top of the next week. But something okay. billboard and shit like that. This is my thing. Right now, I feel like you see, like Afrobeat. You know, I love mm-hmm. Afrobeat. And then right now in life, I listen to more Afrobeat than dance out any day of the week. Why? Mm-hmm. And even more than soca dancing. Too. <laughs> because yes, yeah, soca sometimes, but sometimes soca too fast for me. And sometimes it just not depend that fast vibe, right? That's so. all. Mm-hmm. And then the, I don't always want to be a chop chop somebody mm-hmm. and a scam and a uh 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 uh. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And then Afrobeat give me the perfect balance of both. It gives me the lyrics with the sweetness, but mm-hmm. it still give me the rhythm and stuff. Like right mm-hmm. now, Afrobeat, right now, I do better than dance if you ask me. Because dance is nothing but gun man. One well, to girl yeah. them, no girl tune, no nothing. I'm, I'm glad for the dancing song them, and I, don't get me wrong. But mm-hmm. damn, like. The whole I man them in their rifle walk. Yeah, Beanie upset. And then it's another side. I'm like, yo, it's just how time goes. Yeah. Because there was a time Eras. when Beanie was doing his thing and people was like, eh, yo, them young Utah. What, da, da, da. It's the same thing. Yeah. It's a cycle, right? Yeah. It's just a cycle. They were trying to say, what's your, hey, my lady, sir? I got start mm-hmm. group. You know what I'm saying? I, it's not, I don't want. Please I don't. get it. I get it. But it's like, don't we should not truly lose the essence of dance. I but truly believe that. When did I say too? Is that it's. Not even that they're only making that type of music. He's saying that the music where a boss is mm-hmm. that kind of music because the DJs are playing that kind of music as opposed to everything else that's happening. Money he was saying that pull up. Yeah, yeah, money pull up. Yeah, yeah. Pay the DJ, say, hey, play my artist song, whatever. Mm-hmm. But he's saying that the people them that come out and actually support you that are in your event, the artists that will come out and them, they uh, listen to you and, uh, you know what I'm saying, pack your um, yeah, event or whatever. Not You're not playing. playing their music. But the man over there, I wrote, I do retete, whatever, whatever. I them, I get pull up, pull up, pull up. And yep. you know what I'm saying? And I mean, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm Pretty saying, much. like, but everybody in the industry, everybody who listens to music and know how music is, knows that the people who get the most play is the people that the DJ play. So if the DJ not playing them and it, you're not hearing them on the radio, you're not seeing them on no event card, right. you're not seeing, you know what I'm saying? You don't unless you go look for music, like how some people go look for music, you're not gonna know who these people are. So of course, even if an artist bad, 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 mm-hmm. you're not gonna know nothing about them because. You never hear nothing about them. Exactly. Like, funny enough, not to say he's one of them people, but Silk Boss, remember? <laughs> Listen, first of all, I sent you the video the other day of his interview on stage. No. I didn't send it to you? I don't know. I saw a boy named Silk Boss in him, not true? I like am a tall not. bleach boy in bleach out. 
The one that looked like a clown? <laughs> him? That? Him? I guess. Yeah, but, you know, he got, like, the, uh, like this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that yeah, nigga's scary. What are you talking about? Yeah. <laughs> but, no, I was, I had sent it to you. I think I sent it to you. I don't know. But I was watching the, um, the interview because, I don't know, something just told me to watch it. And he was talking in the interview about how, you know, every time something happened to him, he go make music, right? Like, basically, music is his therapy. I don't know if he actually used those words, but mm-hmm. I love the fact that he was able to say that no matter what happens, if he's happy, if he's sad, whatever, whatever, he go and he go write down music or he make music or whatever. He go journal it, basically. And mm-hmm. I was just like, you know, his mom basically encouraged him to do that, though. You know what I'm saying? Right. I was like, yo, people need to encourage your kids to do shit like that because I think my first journal, my mom got me my first journal. I kind of went through this and was definitely encouraging <laughs> the young end to write out feelings. Mm-hmm. The other day. Because even if you can't yeah. verbally say it, mm-hmm. like at least getting it out so it's not just sitting in you like bottled exactly. up. Yeah. Like even write if it all down. You take it and rip it up and throw it in the toilet. Yeah. Like, you know, catch that yeah. shit off. And don't set it on fire. I'm a pyro. Don't don't listen to me. No, but please, <laughs> please, please. We don't Please. need no more casualties. Protect the babies. Protect the babies. Man. Yeah, flush it down the toilet. That's what what she said. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but like, get that shit out. Like, even if you want to go record the shit and then delete the audio afterwards, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I be some people like anything to do. Like, don't just sit on the feelings. Like, you don't right. have to share it with somebody. Just get the shit out. It might sound dumb. I used but... to do the voice note thing. I used to do that. Yeah, I did that when a couple I times. My walk, you know, I go on my walks. Mm-hmm. So that voice note thing, I used to just go ahead and record myself. Probably sometimes I probably look crazy. I'm talking to myself, mm-hmm. like I'm having a conversation. I'm fine and with that. Like yo, like what the, f- like yo, like telling me I reason with God. It. You know what I'm saying? Just going, just talking, and then mm-hmm. you know what I mean. I feel good. Delete it. Whatever. Mm-hmm. Like I used to do that with like Tumblr way back in the day, like calling Man, and do the voice. Shout out <laughs> to the real Tumblr OG. <laughs> you no, know, you know. But yeah, so. Now it's definitely a time like when you don't want to sit there and type or write. Definitely just like, yeah, right. Yeah, I'm good, son. <laughs> okay. <gasps> well, um, <clears throat> all right. So, um, wow. Oh, friend, my eyes starting to itch. Mm-mm. It looked like my orange juice done. <laughs> Two ways that black people be saying this time. So that's so the episode done. <laughs> that's how they do it. Yo. Mm-hmm. Ooh, we'll look over my list one okay. more time. Make sure it's nothing else there with a top boat. You try hold it till next week, you know, mom. Yeah, but just I look over and top boat and let them something there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, this one can go down a bottom. We can't talk about that next week. Well, while she doing that, listen, follow on the social medias. You know what I'm saying? The Twitter and the Instagram. And all of those. Pointless yes. talks. All that good stuff. Lion Young, Young V. Thing. If you mm-hmm. find her, you can find me. That's Literally. Dem Sugar cool. underscore. Um, make sure you check out the Pointless Crafts. We got ashtrays, rolling trays, uh, a whole bunch of Pointless Talks merchandise. Um Merch buttons stickers magnets uh pins clothing all, that. all, all that. of that all available on pointlesstalks.com um the crafts page um where it says pointless creations is where you would find all the things i've made by hand <laughs> and the things that will be shipped directly from me the um, crafty the, crab. <laughs> the clothing is on pointlesstalks.com slash shop that is where you can order your apparel um what else? What else? Um, check out the YouTube. Subscribe to the YouTube. Watch the unboxings. Listen to the episodes. Whatever. On on moldings. Everything's on YouTube. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. And wherever you listen to podcasts, make sure you're subscribed. And, you know, keep up with us and all these good things. That's um, it. Yeah. So just like every other week, everything else we do over here, whether you got here on purpose or by fate, thank you so much for tuning into this Pointless Talks podcast. Be safe. Please be safe.